little do-it-yourself tea growers flocked to the annual LSU Horticulture Field Day. Visitors there not only enjoyed a great venue to check out Louisiana-style fall colors, but as Twilight's AJ Sabine shows us, landscape architects also traveled to Hammond to show off the latest trends in fall plantings. Now the new Celosia, besides the intense that a lot of people really like, is Dragon's Breath. Under a bright October sun, amateurs and professional gardeners alike take in a bit of color. You're starting to see bicolored angelonias now. At the LSU Ag Center's annual horticulture field day. Station director Dr. Alan Owings briefs visitors on the latest discoveries derived from LSU Extension researchers. Now despite the loss of some plant trials during the August flood, Owings says it was important to share information from trials that survived the mighty Tangipahoe River. We wanted to provide retail garden centers, uh, wholesale nursery growers, uh, landscape industry professionals with an opportunity to see the research that we're doing here at the Hammond Research Station. We do a lot of new research every year. We add to our programs every year. So we think it's important to go ahead and have all these events because we want to keep the industry updated on what's going on. Right now, tea production raises many questions from visitors at this year's field day. According to research, Owing tells home gardeners they can plant productive camellia sinensis or tea plants here in Louisiana. Tangipaho Parish nursery owner Mary Mizell explains. This is a camellia sinensis plant. They do flower. They actually grow like a sasanqua. They can take sun, but actually we, we tell people they need a little bit of shade. And you actually make the tea from the uppermost tea leaves. You don't make it from the whole plant. You just make it from the upper tea leaves. Perhaps the biggest draw every year is the station's sun garden. Visitors like Ginger Fortson and Jeff Bell came out to learn about new species of super plants and other varieties that do particularly well here in Louisiana. Fortune made several notes on super plants she found during the field day. From the number of butterflies, you can tell that these are very, uh, these are good pollinators here and good host plants and nectar plants for butterflies. Torpedo grass uh, was introduced in the 1920s along the Gulf Coast. Seminars on weed science also dominated the attention of many participants of this year's field day. Dr. Alan Owings says the popularity of this field day reflects the passion of researchers here at the station. We're getting a um, uh, very good enthusiastic response from the consumers that come to the Hammond Research Station and also our commercial clientele. We think we are providing a very good industry service. Uh, all the new plant material, the new plant trials is very uh, uh, significant. That's what the uh, advisory committees that we work on say we need to be doing. So. I think our Louisiana super plant program and our Louisiana uh, plants with potential program that the LSU Ag Center is doing is, is providing that information for them. Now researchers also presented an overview of ornamental plant variety evaluations including annual bedding plants, herbaceous perennials, and of course roses. If you would like more information on the next field day or more information about the Southeast Louisiana Nursery Association, please, please log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And you know what, Kristen, you would have loved all of the beautiful colors, the pollinators, the butterflies, magnificent. It looked like a really fun story and I'm wondering where my invitation to the <laughs> event was. Well, um, See, because it's out in Hammond and it's in the rural mm -hmm. community, some of the cell phone signal service, mm. Uh, mm. next time. Convenient. Convenient excuse, AJ. Great story. Thank you much. Well, still to come on Twyla, we're off to camp. The Vernon Parish Field Day is teaching high school students about the importance of agriculture. Plus, breeding better bees. Find out what's buzzing coming up after this. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.